Meantime, Prime Minister the Honorable Philip J. Pierre has called on the international community to ensure that its commitment to equitable access to COVID vaccines is met as the economies of small states like St. Lucia depend on it. Prime Minister Pierre made the call as he addressed the 76th United Nations General Assembly. Mr. President, as we battle this pandemic, there is another global threat that runs parallel to it by the name of misinformation. The Governor Solution has embarked upon a robust education program to encourage our population to get vaccinated, as realistically, this is the only way to reduce, eliminate, and eradicate the risk and restrictions caused by this pandemic and permit us to rebuild our economies and societies stronger. However, we have witnessed in dismay the politics at play, even in the midst of this pandemic, as various countries create their lists of recognized and unrecognized vaccines, with certain privileges awarded to global citizens who have opted for certain branded vaccines over others. We have witnessed vaccine apartheid in various forms, and not only in terms of production and distribution. Some countries which have stockpiled vaccines are now in the middle of debates about third doses and boosters, while other countries watch helplessly as COVID-19 related deaths continue to rise for want of a jab. Prime Minister, the Honorable Philip J. Pierre.